Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Jordan. I know it's definitely been some time since I've posted, uh, but I'm back. I may or may not have forgotten to film an intro video yesterday when I actually filmed this video. So this is me doing it right now as I'm editing. But anyways, I definitely plan on posting more as you will see me talk about later in this video. Kind of took a break from a couple of different social media sites and stuff during season. And then I was super, super busy this summer, which you'll hear about soon as well so i wasn't really able to kind of post on here much at all actually um, but either way thank you guys for watching i definitely appreciate all of you guys' support and like i said i will be posting more soon so stay tuned okay so i have made it to ariel's she is over here stretching got my starbucks also starbucks if you could um maybe have my cinnamon dolce latte thing back in stock that would be fabulous because they did not have that and I had to get whatever in the world this is. I think it's like vanilla or something. We're about to get our workout in and this is what it looks like, I think. We've got some abs, upper body, lower body. Um, this is just what Ariel put down. I'm probably gonna add some back squats in there. Um, this is um, the little setup we have going on here. Got a nice little motivational poster. My coffee, Earl. We got some some stuff. <laughs> some some mats. <laughs> got a treadmill that I will not be using because I don't want to break it, but it is fancy. And here's our little machine setup situation type weight stuff. Yep, I'm really good at this. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> oh yeah, fit check. We've got. Shoes via Oregon, shorts via Oregon, shirt via Florida Gulf Coast League. That's what I was doing this summer in case you were wondering. Got aerial shoes via Oregon, spandex via aerial, shirt via Oregon. Okay, so we just finished working out. And now we are at Ariel's new apartment. We're checking it out. Looks really nice. Cute, homie. But what are we doing here again? Is your room set up yet? Ooh, let's look at Ariel's new room. I shall remember the last apartment tour I did. The only apartment tour I did. Showed you Ariel's room. Well, this is her room now at her new place. Wow, this is cute. Is that Wilson? Oh, mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah, this looks super cute. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're about to go to the Jane now and hit and be nosy. See Kate's room. Gabby's stuff is in there. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Wow, I have pale. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was gonna get tan in Florida in that summer league, but it kind of like downpoured every afternoon, so we're looking a little pasty. Florida also kind of messed my skin up. I normally don't break out, but I have been breaking out on my chin a little bit lately from like wiping my jersey. So we're gonna try and fix that at any skincare companies if you would like to um, help me out. That would be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm struggling with that a little bit right now. And welcome to the Jane, everyone. You, you all have seen this if you watched any of my previous videos, but we're about to get some hitting in. She's probably gonna hit off of the T over here and then hit off of this machine thingamabob. And then she's gonna catch me in this little area right here and I might bring out the dummy batter today too, we'll see how I feel, but it is 2.15ish and I have a lesson to give at 4, so yeah, we'll see how much work we can get in before then, and maybe I'll let you meet my little kiddo that I'm giving lessons to, but we'll see. So let's get this party started. Yeah, 
So I just got back from the Jane. I was gonna do a little bit more recording, but my battery's kind of about to die and I didn't want it to die. So I just ran home. Um, I've got a lesson in like 15 minutes that I'm about to give. I was gonna take you guys with me, but since this thing's about to die, I'm gonna leave my camera here so it'll charge. But after that, I'll come back and then I'm gonna be doing a couple other things at home. But about to go give this lesson. Run a couple errands super quick, let this charge, and then I will be back. It is like 3.45ish right now, so I should be back around 5.30 or 6 or so. We'll see. But, yeah, catch you in a bit. All right, what's up, guys? I'm back at home right now. Um, I just finished giving that lesson. It is almost 7 o'clock now. Um, I need to make dinner, uh, but I kind of forgot to put the chicken out to thaw, so we're going to do that right now and kind of speed that up a little bit put it in a bowl of water or something. But until then, I need to do some laundry. I need to catch you guys up on a couple of things. And I also need to do a little a bit of scheduling and budget, blah, 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 blah. scheduling and budgeting for this week. I have a couple of different funds that I like, like to put money away in, like little like goal funds. I think it's a cool way to save money. So I have to go through how much money I'm gonna be making and kind of divide that up evenly between the funds and make sure I still have money for food and gas and whatever else I want. So, we're gonna do that now, but right now I'm gonna run and grab some laundry to do because that needs to be done. So, so now that I've done that, let's get the chicken out because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm gonna be making, what am I gonna be making? I'm gonna make pasta with chicken and like a, cajun Alfredo sauce type thing. I don't know, I like spicy food. So, hmm, let's talk about summertime and why I haven't posted in a while. Last time I posted, I believe, was one of the first weekends of season and it's kind of like a first weekend game vlog type thing or whatever. This season got super hectic for me. I kind of was overwhelmed with a lot of school stuff, a lot of softball stuff, of course, and then just a lot of personal stuff. Like, I felt like I wasn't intact, I guess, as far as like making sure everything was getting, I just felt overwhelmed, let's just put it that way. So I kind of took a break from social media for a good part of this season and pretty much the whole season. I would post here and there every now and then more towards the end, but for the most part, I wasn't on social media. I had like time limits for each app. I think at one point I had like a two minute time limit on each app just to try and kind of keep me off of social media, which helped a lot. So that's kind of why I stopped posting in season. And two, I edit all of my own videos and stuff. So trying to make videos and then spend hours and hours editing them on top of my schoolwork and everything else was doable in the fall for me because I was in a better space, but uh, this spring it just got super hectic. So I just was like, I don't have time to do all of this. Anyways, I had planned on making a few videos this summer because this summer I spent five or six weeks in the, in like Sarasota, Florida area, um, Tampa kind of situation in Florida. And um, I was playing in the Florida Gulf Coast uh, league. It's a summer softball league. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but obviously there's a lot of summer baseball leagues all over the country. Cape Cod League, um, there's a Florida Gulf Coast baseball league, like all those different things. But the FGCL, they started last year. Um, that was their inaugural season during COVID and everything. And I heard a lot of cool things about it. My friend Maddie Banks that I used to play with at Virginia Tech, she's at Ole Miss now. She had mentioned it to me and the head guy of the organization, of course, uh, messaged me about it. And at first I was kind of hesitant because I didn't really know much about it. And I was like, ah, I don't really know. Um, I was debating on whether I wanted to stay in Oregon for the summer again, if I wanted to go home. Like, I just, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But Maddie had told me it was like the best summer of her life. Like, she had so much fun. She met so many great people. And the longer I kind of looked into it, like, there was a lot of good athletes that were playing in it. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, I feel like that would be a good opportunity for me to kind of fall in love with the game again, get reps, get better, um, meet some people that I probably never would meet from other schools and other teams and stuff like that, and just have a chance to have a fun summer in Florida. I mean, who doesn't want to be in Florida in the middle of the summer? So that's what I was doing. I was on the Bradenton Slice, uh, hashtag Slice and Dice, baby. So if any of my Slice girls are watching, love and miss you guys so much. And honestly, it was the best summer of my life. Like, it was the coolest thing ever. I absolutely loved it. And I wanted to make so many videos out there. Like, you have no idea. And just, like, show you guys what I was up to. 
I mean, we were playing six days a week. I just wanted to kind of live in the moment for once instead of trying to worry about school, worry about all these other things like softball wise, like it was just an opportunity for me to go out there kind of like travel ball does and just like go out there and play. And I thought that was super fun and it, it was the experience of a lifetime. Like I got to meet some of the coolest people ever, I literally met so many people. And then I was fortunate enough to make the all-star team and I got to play with one of my future teammates who you guys will probably see at some point in one of these videos, Kai. She was on my team for the all-star team when we played in that game. And then after that, I ended up actually making the all-star team to go play the USSA Pride for a three-game series, um, kind of right outside of Orlando. It was like a three-hour drive from where we were at. And so I actually got to play against Haley, which was weird not being on the same team as her. But it was that was a really cool experience. I got to meet a lot of those girls and talk to them a little bit here and there. And it was just it was just an awesome summer. Like I don't even know how else to explain it. Like it was the craziest, coolest, like most fun summer I've ever had in my life. And it kind of gave me a chance to reset and kind of figure out like what I want to do, especially since this is my fifth year. So that's what I was doing this summer. As far as some updates on what I will be doing coming up, uh, obviously I'm working on a couple of different things with a couple of different brands that I want to kind of get rolling and kind of get into a little bit. I didn't really have a chance to make, like I said, any YouTube videos, but I also, while I was in um, Florida, I wasn't really focused on a lot of the NIL stuff when I was down there because I, like I said, I was just trying to live in the moment and I didn't want to have to try and worry about having stuff sent to me down there or me trying to post like certain things while I was down there. Like it just, I felt like that would have been too much of a hassle. So I waited till I finished that whole summer league. I went home for about a week and then I flew back out here to kind of get rolling and stuff and get back into my routine of things out here. So now that I'm doing that, I guess this would be a cool time to officially announce one of my first ones that I'm working with, which I'm super excited about. It's the Inspire Me bracelets. Um, I actually have them on right now. I'll show you guys a closer look in a minute. But my mom actually bought me a couple of these bracelets like last year. One of them I don't have on because I can't really put it on by myself right now. But I'm wearing the other two and I'm literally obsessed. They are these different bracelets. They also have necklaces and like other jewelry stuff like that. And they have like inspirational quotes or any sort of like Bible scriptures, different things like that. Just to kind of spread like positivity and like faith and love. And I thought it was really cool when they reached out to me because I was like, wow, like I told my mom about it and I was like, I really think I want to work with this. Like their stuff is beautiful and it looks super cute. Like I feel like I can wear it literally anywhere. She was like, Jordan, I bought you those bracelets last year. And I was like, that's what those were? So I thought that was really cool. It kind of came full circle. But I got this one bracelet from them recently and I'm about to show you guys. But if you guys are interested in any of this, please make sure to, I'll leave the link in the description below. Click on that link. Um, if you use my code JordanD25, you can get 25% off all products. Strongly, strongly suggest you guys check out their website. They have the prettiest stuff and they're super convenient. They have a couple different sizes as well. But let me go ahead and show you guys what they look like. So this one right here is the one they sent me. Um, it says, be anxious for nothing, let your prayers be known. And then it's Philippians 4-6. Um, but it's super pretty. They have different like stones you could get too. Like they have like rose stones um, or rose quartz um, and all those different things. Here's another one my mom got me. And then this is the other one my mom got me. It says Fearless. And I'm obsessed with them because I think they all look really cute together too. But yes, 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh my gosh, I look like a crackhead right now. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting more of these myself, not just from them, but me just purchasing them and even some necklaces as well. But one of my favorite ones that you guys can look at when you go on the website is it says believe in yourself as much as I do. And I don't know, I saw it like somewhere a while back and it didn't really hit me. But then when I was looking on their website and I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, it just kind of like clicked in my head. Like, I don't even know, I sound like a dork. But like, I just was like, wow, like, I don't know, this quote just kind of really resonates with me and it kind of inspires me. I feel like a lot of times as college athletes, you kind of get in this rut of self-doubt, um, you know, like insecurities when it comes to like your sport or your level of play sometimes, like if you're going through a slump or anything like that and just believe in yourself as much, much as I do. Like, obviously I'm a religious person, so I take it as obviously God saying that, like if he can believe in me that much, then I should be able to believe in myself as well. And then vice versa, like if you want to think of it as your mom saying that, like if your mom gives you that gift or you give it to your friend or you buy that bracelet or that necklace or whatever, 
and give it to them. Like, I don't know, I just like, it really clicked with me as like, you know, people out there believe in you and you should be able to believe in yourself too. And it just kind of reset me mentally when it came to if I were to go through any sort of struggles or slumps. I mean, it's not like I did, but like a pitching slump or a funk or something like that. Like I just thought it was a really cool quote. And so I'm obsessed with that one. Probably gonna be getting that one soon. Definitely should go check them out, but yeah, so. Okay, quick update. Um, chicken's done. Now I'm just waiting on this water to boil so I can put the pasta in and then yeah, and while that cooks, I'm going to start making the sauce, and then it'll be done. And it is almost 10 o'clock. So, this is a lot later than I normally eat breakfast. This is a lot later than I normally eat dinner. Sneak peek at the chicken. Boom. Perfect. Okay, and we're done. And it is 10, 12. So, not as long as I thought it was going to be. Um, I ended up not putting any vegetables or anything in it because honestly there's like no room and I'm just gonna have to have like a smoothie or something before I go to bed. But I'm gonna show you the final product. So the lighting is not really doing it justice, but there's chicken in there and then the like cajun -y Alfredo sauce and then Parmesan cheese. So um, now that that's done, I have an absolute disaster of a kitchen to clean and I need to fold my laundry, put my sheets back on my bed and then hopefully start editing this video, so. And that concludes the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it wasn't the most fun video in the entire world, but I definitely wanted to give you guys a life update as to why I hadn't been posting, what I've been up to, and what I have planned. I definitely have some more fun stuff coming up that I will totally plan on like documenting and filming with, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe below. If there's anything that you do want to see, please feel free to leave a comment or a suggestion down below. I definitely am going to be sure to start posting more on my TikTok as well and my Instagram. So make sure you guys go follow those. I'll leave links for those below. And yeah, like I said earlier, make sure you guys check out Inspire Me. And these are the bracelets once again, if you can see them. Literally obsessed. Use my code JordanD25 for 25% off anything on the website. So... Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.